versus Complexity is a match we've seen a few times now. They've competed twice in the RLCS. Complexity won in Season 5 and PSG won in Season 4. That was the season PSG nearly got the perfect record before being upset by Envy in the last week. But both of these teams bring in a change. Both of these teams have changed one of their players since last season. Fruity for PSG and Greasy for Complexity. So the question for me is, which player is going to have a bigger impact on this match? You know, I was doing my prep work. I was doing all my homework, getting ready for the match. And I'm like, none of these stats matter because yeah. it's a completely different roster with completely different talent. So excited to see how they do it. The big one for me is Greasy. He's always been known as a bruiser, someone who's extremely direct, very aggressive, almost like Marky in a sense, mm. up on offense. And that's kind of what this team is needed is they need someone to solidify that place up on offense and a lot is mentioned as well i want to go back and get into a more rotational style of play we got to saw we got to see what they did during the world championship and how he worked himself into that i am extremely curious to see on how they do it with greasy we will see greasy meister winning the world championship back in season two on flip side a lot has changed since Season 2. He's been able to stay as a relevant player. We saw him most recently competing in the finals of the Universal Open alongside Scrub Killer. But dropping that one to Cloud9. So, got to see Scrub Killer just a second ago, too. It's great to see him finally competing in the RLCS. But this one's about PSG versus Complexity. Complexity in the orange, PSG in the blue. We see some early ball control here from Complexity. Magnus sends that one up a lot. Airborne misses the ball, and he'll bring up Fair alongside him. Now Fruity going after Greasy Meister. Magnus back down out of this corner. Fair with a shot across. And she'll set Dom demoed in the midfield. Fruity with a response. Now back for the goal. Can he put this one in? No. It goes away. It's Greasy. Playing it off the wall. Lost ball control, and she'll set and Fruity have a nice response. Dropping it down. Magnus makes the save. Magnus quite the defender. We've seen him make some absurd plays on the goal line, both in the 3v3 and the 2v2 scenes. Despite the changeup, though, with complexity, one thing still remains intact. The defense from them is so frustrating to play against. They're not afraid to sit back and counterattack strong. But so far, handling the midfield oh. relatively well. What? Okay, it and goes in. Does one get off the post? Well done by Complexity. Magnus drew the whole defense alongside him here. Farah left in. I believe Shoset thought he could get the boost. Didn't realize a lot was right there in front of the goal. Lucky for a lot, the ball does go in the net off the post bounce. And Complexity will have a nice early lead here. 341 left to go in game number one. Both teams send the cheat, and Fruity will win it into the corner. Look to steal complexity boost and set up his teammates. This pinch, though, going all the way back into his own half. Chalset has to respond. Looks like Chalset wanted to actually throw that over to his teammate. But Fair ended up backing off. Not sure how that's going to play out. I see these guys back on defense. Chalset now. Wrapping around the corner, Greasy Meister with a shot from midfield. Fruity makes a save, but it's high. And here comes a lot with a follow up. Fruity and Farah double commit. They get this one all the way down the field. Greasy Meister way in the back. They'll make the save. Chancet now over towards Farah. Fruity will pick it up. Magnus to a lot. He'll drop it down. Actually gets it onto the backboard. Chancet back over and across. Greasy Meister with a shot. A nice strong one from midfield. But it goes high. Some defenders along with them. Now a lot past two. This one dropping straight down. Magnus shouldn't miss, and that'll be complexity scoring. The defense on PSG struggling to gain any sort of ball control here. Yeah, a lot of it, though, with a lot. Dropping it down in that perfect spot. Something that we saw them do a couple seasons back, actually. Uh, really reminiscent on Neo Tokyo. I think they busted out like three times in one match. So for these guys to pull that off still, we saw it a little bit yesterday, but started off early here from complexity. Able to get... Two goal lead here as we approach halftime. Magnus to Greasy towards the corner. Farah with a nice response back down the field. This one will be high and Magnus will send it away. Greasy Meister now back to the other corner. Here's a lot up on the wall. The pass one Farah now. Towards the backboard. Magnus sends it to the side, a lot in net. Farah looked to demo him, didn't make contact. Complexity will be able to move up onto offense here. Greasy Meister now into the corner. A lot sitting in front of the net and looking for the pass opportunity. Farah gets the save and sends it away. So Magnus left to play to his own corner, being challenged by PSG. Gets past one. She'll set now. 
Across the field, Greasy Meister picks up the first touch, gets on the backboard, and a good touch from Fruity. So a lot was inbound to try and make it a three goal game. Shell set to the side. Fruity through the air now as a lot is able to respond. Ball spending a lot of time here in midfield. Neither team really gaining control. Just constantly playing the ball from the front of their back third. And Mr. Fruity on the backboard gives an opportunity here to complexity. If Magnus will try to move in, gets a pass fair. Now is this one just going on target? Fruity will get it away. It's a save for that. As Magnus comes in now onto the backboard once more. Shot from a lot coming in. Shaw set gets it high, and Fruity will look to extend the play. Keep it going towards the box. Greasy Meister sends it to the side. Now Magnus with a response. Out to a lot as the final minute ticks. Still got the two goal lead here for Complexity. PSG yet to score here. And a good save from Shaw Set. Greasy took the shot, and Shaw Set just fell on it. You know, I think most of my questions for Fruity have been answered. He's been getting involved early, being that first man in rotation to bring it up field. But it just feels like Fair has been completely left out does not know where he needs to be. A lot of times when he's cheating up, it just goes over his head and he's got a double back, which then forces another teammate to come through. So want to see him get involved as he's going to try to finish that one off there. The pass came out straight to Chaussette. Very fortunate, and he took a nice shot, but it was blocked. And will not get a goal. 20 seconds remaining, still down by two. Need that first goal to give them a chance. We've seen overtime, Farron moving up. He could possibly find this, but a lot gets it away from him. Shaw set puts it back in in the final countdown. Counting just down one at a time. Five seconds left and nobody making contact for PSG. That'll be the game here in game number one. As complexity will take it with two goals. PSG not able to find a single one. Yeah, clean start here from Complexity. Nothing too crazy from them. Just clean play all around, everybody getting involved. We had questions about Greasy Meister. So far, not getting in the way, and that's totally fine. We saw it a lot with Vitality, I think, last game. A lot of overlapping, some confusion there. But as of right now, they're just playing calm and collected. Nothing too crazy, no overlapping, just making their goals. Yeah, Greasy Meister didn't do anything that flashy in this game. We saw a few decent shots from him, but mostly just rotational plays, setting up Magnus, setting up a lot, allowing them to play in the, the they have been playing together for so long. They're going to be that front duo, and a lot in particular, a player that is known for his aggressive play style, for his creative play style. I mean, he's sort of, sort of a, a Jacob of Europe, a player that everyone's like, I don't know what to do with you, but it works every time, so cool. <laughs> that's a really good way to put it. Obviously, Greasy, though, that's going to be the one that we talk about. The only time we got to see him last season is he did sub in in one match and had a phenomenal performance. I think it was like one and a half, like just shy of one and a half goals per game. He had tons of shots. His accuracy was like 45%. It was something ridiculous. And obviously that's over a very small sample size of only four games, but mm -hmm. that kind of impact is what they were looking for. It's part of the reason why he was brought on this team. We need someone that can just have this immediate reaction and you know the energy is going to be there from Greasy. That's kind of what he does. Well, we'll see. Game number two getting underway here. And yeah, Greasy Meister definitely an, ins an inspirational player to play alongside. Toms are probably his best asset. <laughs> One of the most talkative players in Rocket League. And very, very funny. A little game too funny for his own good sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> game two, move on to Urban Central. We'll see PSG look to tie up the series. Shaw set. Booms the ball down the field, Magnus will easily pick it up. And now Shaw set back down. Here comes another follow-up, but Greasy Meister gets it away. PSG starting to build some pressure. Here's Fruity, puts another one on to the target, or just above it, rather. I keep saying on target, and I feel like what I mean is he's taking a shot. But definitely on target means you're shooting at the goal. And when they hit the crossbar, that doesn't count. So I'm going to stop I mean, doing it's that by the target it's yeah exactly like it's it's still wrong so. the the intention is right he's trying to set up his teammate so i'll, I'll give it to you wave it's fine i appreciate i appreciate i believe your in your on targetness i appreciate your support i'm still gonna change it greasy meister oh, okay. trying to get it past shaw set fair comes up with a response three players move in on that defense but magnus is the one who makes the contact now a lot Trying to play it out of the corner. Shaw set actually gains ball control off of this, but Greasy Meister takes it away quickly. Fair now in with a response. Can alternating contact here. It's Fruity trying to get it up, plays it back down. Unfortunately, Complexity had a chance there. Playing it downfield with two, just an immediate shot, rather a pass across. Would have been a great one too, but unfortunately thrown away that chance, and now they're back on defense. Could add ability to sustain it. Easy Meister over the side. Fruity sends this ball towards the goal, and Magnus gets it away. Now Farah 
through the air and towards the other corner. Mishas have playing it back in the middle. These corner plays, CPSG doing a good job trying to set up their teammates. There's not really anybody lurking in front of the goal to pick up the passes. So complexity consistently regaining ball control. Farrell wins the 50-50 in the middle. And now looking across the field, hoping his teammate would be able to move into the corner. Just kind of gave up on ball control. A lot of it does have to do with the way that this PSG team is playing defense. Normally, Fruity or Chaussette is launching that downfield, but then they keep two players back in defense, both at each post. They wait for them to return it, and then they counterattack with numbers. Fortunately for them, they haven't had the follow-up to make it count. Haphazard play. Everybody on the wrong side of the ball. Everybody having to reposition. The ball hangs for just a moment. Now PSG. Moving up, pressuring in the box once more. Magnus will hold on to this, gets it over the top of Fruity. A tight three-man position from Complexity. Sees the ball across midfield, but they lose it to Farah. Now a lot shot on goal. Chaussette will take it away. Rather weak, but he does get the boost tonight in that top right corner. Back up, here comes a lot. The shot maybe sneaks underneath the crossbar, but Chaussette sends it away. A follow from Magnus is high again. Chaussette still alone in the net, and Greasy tries to play it underneath. Chaussette, a clever play, while Chaussette makes the defense, gets it away. Now Farah back up to midfield. Magnus putting it high. Farah up to engage and drops it back down to Fruity. Sends the shot on target. This one blocked by Greasy. And Chaussette trying to get it out. Now the follow up, the counter attack from Complexity back and forth down the field. It's Greasy. Drop it back behind him. Mount Magnus with ball control. Can he get it past the last one there? Gets it up and it hits the crossbar. It finally goes in. Complexity, accuracy plaguing both sides here. Finally, Complexity gets it in. Beautiful contest by Magnus as well. Coming off the wall to jump in front of that one. Just takes his opportunity and puts it away. Getting in front of this team. But it seems like for a lot of these players, boost management has been a problem. A lot of these shots that they could be putting away, just not able to find their target because of the lack of power. Well, oh, Greasy trying to do it by himself. Gets the ceiling shot onto the crossbar. Magnus moves around, pops this one high. Here comes Chalset, now over to the side. Into the corner, it'll be Greasy. Comes flying in to try and challenge. Doesn't make a great contact. Greasy's able to put it to the goal. Magnus just gets a response, but backs off. Allows PSG to gain ball control again. Yeah, beautiful call there. You saw it immediately as soon as they play that midfield. Rather than chase it up and be out of position, he backs off and waits on that wall. And allows them to bring it right back down. Complexity making smart decisions here in this later half of game number two. All right, since so it's all the way down the field. Look for a moment like he might get the follow-up shot. So we're in the final minute. Only a one goal lead for Complexity this time. But still PSG needing to find some last minute heroics. A lot gets it past one, gets it past two. It looks for the boost here and tries to get it past Chaussette as well. Just out mind games the player. Fruity is able to bail him out. Magnus now up in the corner, holding on to the ball, just keeping it away from PSG. Through offensive pressure, Farah has to get that one away. Dangerous play. A lot up on the backboard here. Chaussette tries to get it off, but can't dismount in time. Screezy puts it back into the corner again. A lot now. Can he pass to Magnus? Can't find contact as Fruity gets it back down the field. Greasy play it up, and Chaussette has a response. Back down to Fruity. Trying to pass here to Farah. Shaw set back into the midfield. Here comes the pass. Wow. And Shaw set. It's just Farah that gets it all by himself. A beautiful play from the corner. The pass plays to make it happen. I mean, you're seeing it from there. Farah was right at the top of the key, waiting to get a shot in, but it doesn't come across far enough. Still has the ability to get in there time, set himself up, and then the solo play. Farah doing what he does best, finishing it up for this team. Tying it back up with only 10 seconds remaining. Brought themselves back into it. Fruity looks for the pass, but it gets intercepted by a lot. Gets the dunk again. Can they have the last minute heroics? No. Breezy Meister demolished. Magnus <laughs> can't keep it up. No, no Rocket League this time. Unfortunately not, but an overtime exciting nonetheless. PSG tries to tie up the series, putting themselves in a good position early on. Oh. Shot on target. Vera tried. Been two goals for him here. So they were shut out in game number one. He's got them all so far. Greasy takes that one away from Chalset. Balls in, grabs his own boost now. Back up, here comes a lot. Rudy puts it over the top, and Farah gets onto the wall, looks for the demo, and Magnus doesn't find him. Magnus hanging back farther back in net to avoid that demolition and then able to get the clear all the way down the field. Here comes Greasy, looking for the shot on target. He puts it down straight in the center, off to the side just a little bit, and that's complexity getting their second win. Take a look at a lot there, head hunting on that wall. Saw 
Rudy was already up on that back wall waiting for a clear, and Alon recognizes that. Rather than giving him the free chance, he just gets involved, gets in his face, and ends up popping back in. Greasy's got to just put a simple shot on net, and it sneaks away. Complexity now on match point. Absolutely. Maybe a chance to get a sweep here. It's complexity. Greasy Meister makes an impact there. The RLCS Season 2 World Champion. You can see his title there in the game. Proud of that one. Five shots he put up in this game alongside his teammates. This is this is my favorite. This is a thing we, for the first time, we're getting to experience this in the RLCS. Magnus rocking the title Tactical Whiffer. He's going he's gonna to miss on purpose to give his team advantages there somehow. And Put him on target, right, to set up his team. And Fruity, Fruity just owning up to it. He's got the title ball chaser. He's, 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 he knows he knows that's who he is. I didn't see much ball chasing from him this time. No, yeah, he, uh, he's been playing smart. It's good to see from Fruity. Obviously, it's a lot of nerves coming in. The guys at the desk mentioned, like, he has no prior experience. He hasn't been in RLRS, hasn't been in RLCS. So it's a lot to kind of pick up, but he's been doing well. I'm actually excited to see that he's or they're basically enabling him to lead the charge. We talked about it a lot yesterday, the teams that did struggle with their new rookie was because they just had to sit back and watch. They're not doing that. They let him get up in early, and uh, it's been getting better. Getting a goal this time, so step in the right direction. Yeah, they're definitely playing. They're definitely being more aggressive on offense. I've seen Fruity get up in the past game, but so far the shots just haven't quite been there for them. So as we move into game three, excited to see, does he make any bigger of an impact? Again, two players to watch have been Greasy and Fruity. Greasy Meister making a big difference there at the end of game two. Well, the one that tied it up initially was Farah. I mentioned early in game one, he looked kind of lost. Wasn't sure how he was going to do it. Getting involved there. Just remaining as that third man, letting everything develop and then putting in a dominating shot is enough to close it out. But unfortunately for them, the complexity bounces back. Now on match point, can PSG tie it up again? We're going to have to see a reverse sweep from them. Usually for the leftovers, now Fnatic. Yeah. Reverse sweeps. It happened quite a lot here in our LCS. A lot of demos coming out earlier yep. in game Big three. Big old Demolition Derby as Fruity tries to take the shot. The demos opening up the space, but Greasy Meister makes the save. And now the counterattack down the field from Complexity. Another Demolition on Greasy Meister now. Shawsep tries to play it by himself. Greasy off the respawn. We'll play it into the corner. Nearly finds the dunk on Farah. Fast, aggressive long ball from both sides right now, especially from Complexity. Salah puts it in the corner. Farah over the top of one. Here comes Greasy. Tries to put the shot on target, but can't get it through Farah. Shaw set up off the wall. Greasy Meister past one. A lot off the wall. Be Farah using the wall as another teammate to pass two. Greasy will find Magnus this time. The infield passes. Free off the backboard. Gets it over to the side. Very, very wide positioning of the complexity members. PSG trying to answer with wide positioning of their own. And unfortunately for them, even though these, they're in the right spot to receive these clears, they're pushing it straight back rather than playing it across the field. Makes it really easy for the guys that are just shadowing their teammates, waiting for that opportunity to play it right back out. So a lot of back and forth early in these first two minutes. As you see it again here, one down, but a Ooh. demo could be the difference for Chaucet. Tries to take the shot, but it goes high. Great opening there. Greasy was in net, but still definitely Chaucet's advantage there. He has the entire net to shoot at. He has plenty of time to make his choice. Tried to put it upper 90. Couldn't get it under the crossbar. Now the counterattack. Fruity dropping this one. Nearly puts it on target. Nearly gets it underneath again. And the accuracy. What could have been two goals there. Both miss. On demolition here, Greasy shot goes off the crossbar, off the post and out. Both teams not able to get it underneath the woodwork again from Magnus. An open net and he's not able to put it on target. Fortunately for a lot as he's rotating back in the midfield. Oh, and what's what? matter? It sneaks in for Greasy. Calculation. Yeah, you saw a lot as he's rotating back. They're trying to deny the boost as he gets back on defense. But his teammate right up top able to bounce that down and in. Just these guys, you talk about spreading it out wide, making sure in the right spot. Perfectly placed in the midfield, even though the play was working right towards them, they're able to put it right back in. This time going inside and it pays off. Sinks it home. Complexity with everything they need to get the sweep here on PSG. On day number one. Poor lot. He had a beautiful pass in the midfield, nobody there. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, I set it up, I did it all, man. Oh, possibly another one, but 
Doesn't quite get it out of the corner. Greasy Meister now up. He's got two players up alongside him. Fruity the only one back in net. Magnus wins the challenge a lot, looking for an opportunity. His shot set is definitely be low on boost here. As Magnus gets it back out again a lot. Just trying to shadow. Puts some pressure on Farah. He makes a great clear down the field. Now Fruity. Boomed it into the corner. Magnus with a response. Chaussette trying to engage. Fruity is up, puts it back down. Farah is there, but it gets intercepted by Greasy. Back away. Chaussette just trying to buy some time here. See if he can punt the ball and hold on to it this time. It's a pass. Fruity helps him out. He's got Farah underneath. Go for the shot. But Greasy sending it away. Farah back into the middle. Intercepted by a lot. Magnus watching from the ground. Greasy will be the first one up. 1.15 on the clock. Complexity in good position. Pass one. Nobody. That'll be Fruity in net. He's hiding behind the ball. Couldn't see him. Shawsack comes up. Here comes Greasy. Another shot. Towards a rather open net. Gets a bump onto Farah. The final minute of game three. All the way on PSG here. Fruity could possibly do it. Can he get it in? No, but Fair will bail him out. Puts it in. The teamwork from PSG will tie up the game. Yeah, really clean plays. The big one from here from Shaw said, rather than waiting for that to hit the backboard, he jumps off early. That change of trajectory actually plays it back to his teammates. And then just the follow-up, that continuous pressure, able to get it. Nobody's going to be able to read it off that, off that post either. Very difficult as it bounces out. And the placement from Fruity, while it didn't go in, it was what enabled Farah to finally sink the goal. If he had tried to shoot anywhere else, most likely defended, most likely sent away. And there's no follow-up. They wouldn't still be alive in this game. Now 40 seconds left. PSG ties it up. Can they find the win? A lot off the wall. Fruity back down. Goes over to the side. Magnus will play it high. Now a lot, looking for the pass. Intercepted by Chalset. As he advances onto offense. Greasy Meister tries to clear it away. Ferret comes in to take the shot, but Magnus gets the save. Now up onto the wall. Magnus taking it away again. Ten seconds remaining. Had overtime before. Complexity's been pretty clean so far. And they do it again. Or can PSG put it away in regulation right now? Magnus with a miss. Greasy Meister's there, gets it down the field. And this one should just touch. And we'll go to overtime in game three. Great choice by Complexity as well. Looks like they wanted to play offensive, but instead of chasing, they all back off as a cheat up, Woo. almost going in, but a lot with a crucial save. Almost losing on the kickoff goal. A lot's able to get there in time, but the pressure's still on for PSG. Fruity looks for demos, and that gets Greasy. Can Chaussette put it on target? Nearly puts it around the post, but Greasy Meister recovers in time. Back down the field now. As he bumps Magnus on the side. Magnus bumping Fruity rather. Greasy Meister looking for the pass to a lot. Two players commit. It's just one on one here. Fruity. With a lot chasing him down. Magnus in the back actually gets caught in no man's land. Greasy Meister now with a response. The demolition on the Fruity opening up some space. Get it past one, but Chaussette able to get it away. Now Chaussette through the air, onto the backboard. Fruity's looking for goalies. There's no one there. Farah takes the shot and it's wide. The bump onto Greasy opens up another opportunity. Fruity again to try and put it on target, but can't get it around. And a lot puts it to the side. Now Magnus over towards his own corner. Ah, oh, it's going to be rough for complexity. A lot to Greasy. Just passes back and forth. Are they finally going to do it here? Fair puts it in. PSG gets a save. And where did complexity go? They just they left off to the side. The ball goes back to the middle. Magnus, I think, got bumped by Fruity. I think that was what happened there. Yeah, so that initial bump you saw in front of the goal allowed PSG to start this pressure coming through. Eventually got pushed out of the corner. And Greasy had a little bit of hesitation, which played it back in the midfield. At that point, they're all roughly under 15 to 20 boost. And then it just continues. There was one chance. Greasy got the last 100 boost and tried to clear it out to the midfield, but he got bumped and then it was played immediately back in. After that, there was nothing left in the tank and PSG puts it away, bringing it back. We got a series here, Wave. They're trying, they're trying to come back into this one, get the win in game three. They gotta get it in game four and five. The rough task of reverse sweeping complexity here, but you never know. Farah, Farah with one of the most legendary reverse sweeps we ever had. He was on that leftovers team, got the triple, a three-man dribble on flip side. I think that was back in season three, I think. Might have been two. They all kind of blur together when they were, they were <laughs> there's, there's multiple ones a season there. But still, Farah, he made a name for himself doing this. We'll see if he can do it again. Well, I was curious about it.
Talked about it in game one. Look at him at the top of the scoreboard now. Two goals for Farah, the only two for his team, and it's enough to get the win. But you got to give credit to Fruity and the rest. The setup between him and Shaw said have been really good in supporting that offensive style where Ferry looks best when he's just able to sit back, kind of relax, and then he's like, all right, cleanup's there. I got this. Yeah, the Greasy Meister getting another goal here. Gives a nice calculated angle off the ceiling. Yeah. Went straight in. Got lucky on that one. Maybe a bit fortunate, but also I don't think I could do it. So, you know, we'll say it was, we'll say it was calculated. that we don't think we could do, but... Yep. Kind of a weird kind of, uh, it's going to sound stupid, but every time I watch Greasy Meister play, I can only think about like, you know when you go down like in a roller coaster and like all the wind hits your face and your, <laughs> your like mouth pushes back and all that kind of stuff, hair blowing in the wind? That's Greasy when he goes for aerials. Like he, he attacks from so far away and just spends all of his boost. And that's all the of it. first thing that comes to my mind. It's beautiful. He's like, look at how much boost I have. <laughs> and then he just screams the whole way. Wah! I can use it all. The PSG. Getting the win in overtime in game three, and now here we are in Utopia. Very close games all the way around. A two-goal lead, the longest we've seen so far from complexity. Back in game one. Sperdy now back down. Demolitions, double demolition there. Shaw setting a lot, taking each other out. Momentary 2v2 here. Sfera off the corner, back around. A lot will loft it, and Greasy Meister will follow. Looking for the shot on target. Gets it there, but Fruity gets the save. Now Magnus back down the field. Maybe Shaw set through the air, trying to play it, trying to get the ball back up. Bounce it off, and it'll be Greasy with a response. A great save from Farah. The pressure trying to build here for complexity a lot. Tried to pass across to Magnus. He wasn't there. A lot just... of passes coming from a lot as well that he plays in the midfield. They're perfectly lined up. Just nobody there on the same page to finish it. Magnus out of his goal. 3.37 on the clock. Nobody scoring yet in game four. Spike that one down. Magnus now into the backboard. Shaw set. He's got the flip off the ceiling. It's there now. Greasy Meister just watching the ball. It's Fruity and Farah make up their mind of what they wanted to do. It'll be Shaw sitting now on the other end of the field. A lot plays it out. Farah puts it back in. Very wide of the net into the corner. He's going to need some more contact to get it out to his teammates. Fruity plays it past a lot. Now up to challenge. No one matching him on complexity's half. Magnus back down. He chases the ball and doesn't have an oh, OG no. or the touch from Greasy. A lot has to bail him out. Gets it away. A lot now. Playing it away, can he get this by himself? Puts under the backboard, looks for goalies, kind of zones him down, but there's no follow-up from the rest of his team. What complexity. A, what a touch by Farah, though. He chased him the whole way down and made a touch across his net. There was nobody up, like you said. Nobody was contesting it to follow up for that save. So Farah just makes an extra play. Hero effort from him. Oh, and this one right in front of the box. Can Farah top it in? He needs a nice soft touch. Couldn't quite drop it under, and Fruity wasn't there in time before Greasy got it away. They'll get out of the woods on one. Shall set now. Back over to the side. Farah, the pass to Fruity. Infield and a lot blocks it. Farah plays it towards the box. Soft and Greasy Meister will get a nice clear downfield. Shall set looks to play it to his own corner. And now Fruity will look to transition it back away. Solid contact from Complexity. Puts it back into the PSG half. Magnus looks for Farah in net, but doesn't find it. But is it enough? He felt him breathing down his neck. Here comes a lot with a follow up again. This one high. So few shots put on target from both sides in this match. Seems like it's been a theme so far today. A lot towards Magnus. Fruity will play it off the wall. Greasy Meister thinks about going for it, but leaves it for a lot. She challenges on the retreat. Nobody challenging this ball to be Fruity who gets there first. Fruity now back down to Demolition on the fair, opening up some space. Greasy Meister will try to follow behind this, but Shaw sets it there in time. Back over to Fruity. PSG hovering behind this. Magnus will take it away. Fruity looks for Greasy in net, but couldn't find him. Just nothing working right now on either side. As we're approaching the final minute, nobody has scored. I mean, part of the reason why nothing scored is because of the credit to a lot. We always talked about him being the guy who sits at the midfield and waits for a shot. Instead, he's rotating about a little bit, probably about half of that back. And then he's just looking for the play to develop. He's like, okay, this guy's going to be the one that comes in for a shot. Let's take him out of the field. Let's make sure I support the guy on defense. Or I'm open for a pass. He's doing it all for this team. And it's fantastic to see this player, who is so one-dimensional, really step up. Oh, Magnus has an opportunity there. There's a lot. Pinched it off the wall. 
Complexity keeping the ball in the blue, but backing off again, and the pass plays come through for PSG. Get it out into the orange. 35 seconds remaining. Smongus and Greasy Meister tag team it. Play it away. Final 30 seconds as Farrell lofts. Comes a lot. Over to Magnus. Jossack gets it underneath, and Greasy Meister pushes it laterally, but Fair is there. Down the field, it's high of the goal, and Magnus will play it away again. Greasy Meister now up, looking for the shot from midfield. Chaussette gets there and makes contact despite interference from Greasy. Fair now over to the side. A lot plays it onto the wall, and Chaussette looks for it, but Locke gets a second touch. Here comes Fruity. Past one, three seconds left. He could send us to game five. Magnus, out of his own net, puts it onto the ground. Game four, overtime. Complexity, one goal away from taking out PSG. He's trying to finish it off, but in most cases, PSG has been the one to lead the charge and maintain that offense early. Curious to see what Complexity does to change it up. Chaussette tries, demolition onto a lot. In the blue corner, it's Greasy Meister who's winning contact. Farah plays it away. Chaussette winning that one. He's got Magnus in front of him. Magnus is able to put it onto his own wall. Keep this ball near the sky. A lot of it has to do with Magnus early denying that top right boost and then another midfield one as he's rotating back. Can do it all, this player. Deny the boost and then get cool. the clear as well. Rudy winning one challenge. Dropping it back behind a lot. Shaw sets able to keep Greasy from clearing. Rudy now onto the wall, Farah and Fruity. Both up in this corner is Greasy. Gains control in the first minute of overtime, will expire. Rudy with a miss in front of his own net. Greasy Meister makes a quick turn and Farah just punts it high. Just trying to get it away from his goal. Now the pass up to Greasy. Farah will intercept, send it to the side, add pace to it. Now a lot. Can he drop it in? Can't make contact. Perhaps low on boost. It's Farah. Through the air. There's a lot of Greasy now. Interesting touch. Here's Fruity. Down the side. Can't make contact a lot here. Gonna flick over one. Magnus to a lot. Looking for the pass play onto the backboard. No one's there. Greasy Meister. Continues it into the corner. It's Fruity to Farah. Is anybody home? No one's there. Goes all the way in. What an appropriate goal explosion for Fruity. <laughs> well played as well. Fruity just gets it all the way clear. Fair doesn't even have to do anything. It just, you saw complexity. They were trying to apply as much pressure, but Greasy for some reason, a couple touches in a row, just no real good solid connection with it. And it just kills right in front for PSG. So for PSG, it makes it really easy to just scoop out and throw down field. Fortunately for Alon, he's not able to rotate back in time, but even score for complexity, 160 across the board for every player. Seven minutes to put one goal in. What a defensive match here. It's both teams really struggling with the offense, really struggling to put the shots on target, really struggling to find a way to get it in a position that forces the other team to play defense. The thing, the difference between putting a shot on target and putting a shot just above the crossbar is what does the defense do? The defense sees the shot coming at the net. They know they have to block it. If they see it on the crossbar, they can sit and they can wait, and that just leaves them in position. Whereas if you put a shot on target, you have you force a player to leave the net. You force a player to expend boost, and you get the rotations going. So while we're seeing teams get shot after shot after shot, they're constantly missing. They're constantly putting it around the net, which means the defense is just going to stay in place, and the follow-up shots don't really Well, for me, that, that was the crucial moment. I mean, Complexity had a chance. They had them dead to rights. There was a pass that floated right in front of the net. Two players in defense, neither moving completely cemented and Farah took that opportunity he's like I noticed that you guys are in trouble and I'm gonna help so he jumped up and played it even though the touch wasn't a clear it still pushed enough to the side to buy his teammates time and those little differences are what make this team kind of strive they've been able to push back initially it was Farah not getting involved and now Farah to me gets all the credit obviously Fruity and Shawside are doing wonderful things and setting him up but Farah's little individual plays those little things are what are tying it together and allowing him to get the win all right, well, folks, well, we had we had a stream mission where we get to show you the overtime there. It was PSG that took it out, and we're now into game five. We can take a look at the replay of how that went down. It was a one-goal game. Only one goal went in, and we went into overtime 0-0. Zero to zero. So take a look at the overtime. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see.
Do we need to play by play it? I don't know. Guy goes think, up think, on the wall. He hits yep. the ball, and the nobody's ball in all defense. All the way down. It, it was fruit. We finally saw <laughs> Fruity score. Fruity scored a goal. It was a pretty, pretty goal explosion. It was great. I loved Juicy it. Juicy goal so, explosion. So, yeah, we can take a look at it. There we go. Okay, the overtime, honestly, quite neutral. So to kind of talk about and kind of break it down, the big thing that PSG has been doing is contesting really well. So getting in the way of these guys, making sure that anytime the ball is played off. But the big one I want to pay attention to is Greasy, and I'm glad we're on our, okay, maybe not, eat my words, guys. But <laughs> Greasy's touches, a lot of the time, when they're pushed down field, it allows the rest of the complexity to follow up. But in the top left corner where the goal is going to come, roughly around that two minute mark, expect to see Greasy make a couple touches that just fall flat. They don't go in the midfield. They don't go anywhere to his teammates. Because of that, the opportunity opens up. Other than that, PSG's just playing smart. They're waiting for an opportunity, waiting for a mistake. Yeah, and it was, I mean, it was, the, the overtime goes for two minutes and it's overtime. So there's only one goal that gets scored. It's the one that happens at the end. There was a few great opportunities and we, we talked about it a little bit before the, the, in between the two games where the accuracy has kind of been an issue for these teams. There's been some great opportunities to score. That was blocked from Farrell, was an excellent one. Greasy Meister really had an awesome opportunity to score there and the defense holds on. So we're back and forth from the two teams. Ultimately, it's going to be PSG that puts it in. Yeah, you see it there as well. That ball that got touched up by Greasy was perfect setup. Just because it didn't go a little bit further, it wasn't the most ideal touch. The boost that a lot had, just not enough. Like, he had a touch, and it was just so soft, and nothing comes from it. So that's kind of been the difference. We touched on, I guess, a little bit really early where, like, boost management has been a little bit of an issue. But it's just because of how fast these guys are playing. So the big one from here, Greasy. That's the touch I was talking about where it fell light, and then this happens. And you saw all three players very deep committed, trying to get the goal, trying to just finish it off in overtime. That's the thing that happens in overtime. If, 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 it's, you, if you commit all three players, you kind of know you have to score, or you're probably going to get scored on the long shot there. So PSG, send us to game five, moving on to Champions Field. Can Farah do it again? Yeah, good to catch you guys all up about what happened. But now we get to go to game five, an exciting match where it all comes down to this. It's pretty much what we hope for in EU RLCS and the rest of the RLCS is two teams battling out to the very end. But let's find out who's going to be our winner in their only match of the week. Their only match, both these teams, one and done here. I think they both play Weedham Girls next week. Oh, boy. And someone else plays flip side. I forget who. The big old round robin, they'll all have to play each other. Game five, final match. You win this one, you take the W. Complexity took games one and two. PSG take games three and four. Can we get the reverse sweep? Can Farah put another one on his belt? Or do Complexity finally finish this off? It's Magnus dropping this down. Part of me can't spectate this seriously because of the motor mouth. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like it. It, it is, it is a bit distracting. Rocket cars flying around, things are all serious, goals are happening, all you hear is blah. Like, oh my goodness, a lot. It doesn't go in. Well, Magnus able to fake out Fruity. Can Greasy put it on target? What a play. What a way to recover from the missed shot. Yeah, he reads this perfectly. As soon as it comes across, he stops out and then just break checks him completely. That extra little tap up to get past Farah is so crucial. My goodness, what a play. What, what coordination between Magnus and Greasy. I'm going to stop this ball. You follow right behind me and take the shot. Beautiful play. Gives Complexity a lead. Took us seven minutes to score in the last game. They score the first minute here. It's a lot. Over to the side, Greasy. Trying to get through a pass up to Fruity. A lot blocks it. Back down in the midfield. Here comes Shalset with a shot. Greasy will send it up to a lot. Aggressive play. Here comes Greasy again. Fruit Magnus now up. with the wrap around. The wrap around? Sure, why not? It's crazy. Towards the backboard, Fruity dropping it back down. Can't get the second touch though, and Shaw sets challenge goes neutral. Magnus now on the wall. Everybody's stalling out, thinking about what they want to do. Wall tries to move up, and now falling back here. It'll be Greasy Meister versus Farah. Greasy wins the challenge cleanly, and a lot's waiting for it. Shaw set misses a lot, punishes a two-goal lead now for Complexity. Greasy Meister deciding to actually let that bounce off the ground to get a power hit from it. Fortunately for the rest, just a mistake on defense as clear as day. Shaw set needs to clear that one out, falls right into the lap of Magnus, and they go up by two. After only having one goal in their last game and then being shut out previously, it's 
It's been a back and forth. They weren't shut out. They had a goal in the other game, too. Well, it's been a one goal game in every game except for game one. This is the biggest lead we've seen. I think also the earliest we've seen this lead from Complexity. They were shut out the overtime game. What am they were I talking overtimes. about? It was close. It's been a, it's been a weird series. Usually usually we don't see overtimes twice. I know you guys <laughs> didn't right. see overtime twice. We saw overtime twice. Yeah, I'm like trying to figure out. I'm like, that's not how this works. <laughs> Here comes a lot through the air. Another shot on target. Fruity will get the save. And then out to Farrell looking for the transition down the field. It's greasy. Towards a lot. Can he pass it back in? Sends the shot on. And Shaw said, what a save indeed, man. Greasy. Towards the back. Borden will be Shaw set again. This one will get away just fine. Approaching halftime. PSG. Down by two. We're in a, in a series where goals have been very hard to come by. It might be too much already. I mean, you've seen the big difference in complexity of this game as well. Look at the aggression. You mentioned it within that first minute, how they got that goal, just beating everybody to the punch. This is the first time that I've actually seen PSG in a couple touches in a row. But again, look how fast Alana is challenging that ball. Fair over to the side. Maybe now Greasy Meister up, Chaussette wins the challenge, and Magnus plays it up to Greasy. He had a lot of cross and a lot of mound move in, take another shot towards the goal, but it is wide and fair. We'll carry it away. Two minutes left in game five. PSG, very, very few moments of offense here. As they have more or less been trapped on defense this entire time. Chaussette tries to clear it out, but the midfield's been there every time, and there's Greasy. It's a demolition on the Chaussette as well. It's pretty tries. No, Chaussette got the demolition to Greasy, rather, excuse me. He stayed upfield. You talked about no opportunities on offense, not a single shot so far coming out from PSG. Showing the difference in aggression coming out from Complexity, just how fast they're attacking. Era, in this one onto the backboard. Pushed out immediately. Greasy Meister in particular, his midfield clears, his punts have been excellent. And burning time off the clock. It's an excellent strategy already here for Complexity. Benefit of being high and lofted is not only is it wasting a ton of time, but expending a ton of boost. And they're making a domino effect out of that by also denying the boost in the corner when it's available. Magnus to midfield. Looks for the challenge. Ferris sends it mid and it's Chaussette. Nobody around him, sends it down. Fruity looks for an opportunity. Can't get it in. Magnus now up. Challenge from Farah. Not there. Greasy Meister doesn't make contact, and all of a sudden, defensive mistakes, but everybody behind. Can a lot get there in time? No. Low on boost. All of PSG will have time to fall back. The grab from a lot will help slow any rotations down, but a great clear comes through. Now PSG back on offense with 30 seconds left. Magnus away, down the field. Shuts it over to the side. Magnus to try and respond. He's got a lot in the midfield. Just trying to hold this down. Probably move in here, take another shot. But Fruity gets over the side. A lot was very slow. 17 seconds left. Still down by two. They need a goal right here from Chaussette, but it gets blocked by Greasy. Magnus still has to make the save. A follow up from there. No! Magnus sends it away again. And Complexity will hold on to the lead. It took them five games to do it, but they will finally get the victory over PSG. What a comeback, though, from PSG. A great way and a great way to end this series. Hey, look, it's rocking the goal, but. The credit for me, Greasy setting up in that aggression with those clears, but Magnus on defense, save after save. Every time he thought the follow was going to come through PSG, Magnus flies out of nowhere, makes a crucial save, and keeps them alive. Complexity.